Let's take a look at CheckCherry's contact form functionality. Many websites have contact forms to allow you to collect information from visitors that are not yet ready to book. With CheckCherry, you can embed one of our contact form widgets on your site and have submissions feed directly into your CheckCherry account. For instance, if I fill this form out, and hit submit. Now if I return to my Check Cherry account and go to manage, leads, I can find the submitted data. I've also set up an automated message so that Check Cherry sends me an email when a new contact form submission comes in. So let's take a look at how we can create these contact forms and embed them in our website. So let's go to manage, business settings, and leads. And on my leads page, I have, um, I currently have an existing contact form. Um, I can create a new contact form, or I can click the arrow to edit the existing one. Let's go ahead and edit this one. And so on this page, um, I have a form name, which doesn't really matter. It's just something to help remember, um, to uh, help identify it to you. Um, and then the first name, um, you notice that the uh, the field is can be made optional, required, or hidden, and then I can set a width of 50 or 100 percent. So let's add a few more fields. Um, let's go ahead and collect our venue information. Um, let's go ahead and ask for a estimated budget, and let's require a number of guests. And down here, um, I have a few more options, like forms about the what happens when the form is submitted. So um, in this case, I can save and display a message. Um, I can send them to the booking page after, or we can redirect them to a custom page. For instance, maybe you have a, um, a thank you page of some sort set up that you want to be able to control. And then I can change the button text. So if I want to um, say, contact me, then now I'll see a preview within Check Cherry of what this form will look like. So it's again, it's got my name, um, email, and the other information I've um, added. And when somebody tries to submit the form, it will do some basic validation. So we'll make sure that the first name actually is present. Um, we'll make sure that the email is actually an email and that sort of thing. So now let's go ahead and embed this in our website. So let's click the embed button, and that will take us to this page. Um, you can also get here by going to manage and website integration. And at the bottom of the website integration page, a place where you can get your embed code. So let's click this. And there's a couple ways you can do this. If you just want a link to, the, to your contact form that's hosted on CheckCherry, you can do that. Um, or you can embed that directly in your website. You'll also have, if you have more than one contact form, for instance, maybe you have one just to collect basic information and you have a more detailed contact form to get um, venue details and things like that, um, those contact forms will all show up here. For now, let's go ahead and embed one of these contact forms on our website. I'm going to come over here and click Copy to Clipboard. And let's switch over here to where I've logged into my Squarespace account. So I'm going to click my website, and depending what type of website um, you have, the process is going to be different um, if you have WordPress or uh, Wix or something else. But what you're looking for is a way to embed HTML into your website. So with Squarespace, I can go to Pages and then Contact. And I'm going to come over here to my Contact page and click Edit under Page Content. and and I'll click the plus to add a new block and it's asking me what type of content block I want to add. So in this case I just want to add code. And I'm going to paste my code from Check Cherry. Click apply. It shows script disabled. That's because Squarespace for security reasons does not allow JavaScript to run in page editor mode. But if I save and preview it, I should be able to see my form. But to actually see it how my customers see it, I'm going to need to log out.
And now I can see the contact form with all the fields I've added. Whenever I make a change within my Check Cherry account to one of these fields, for instance, if I hide the last name field, that will update on the website automatically. No need to re-embed. You'll notice the last name field is gone now. Next, let's take a look at our automated messages. So if I go to Manage, Automated Emails, create a new automated email, I can set up an email for when a contact form is submitted. So let's click that. And I can have it send an email either when or shortly after a contact form is submitted. And I can select as the recipients. Um, if I want to send like a thank you message to the sender, I can do that. Or I can send an email to myself notifying me of the submission. And if I fill out the rest of this, then when ever a contact form is submitted, an email will be sent out. You can also download your full lead data at any time by going to Reporting, Lead Details, select the columns you want, and click Download. And that's it for contact forms. Let us know if you have any questions.